What new thing did I learn about our little piglets this week? Who came to give us a helping hand? What two animals have learned to work together? And what delicious food did we forage from our land? Hi and welcome to our channel! Thanks for joining us once again and today is the day I decided to get out our baby chicks for the first time. Let's see how it goes. <coughs> the baby chick is big there. Everybody's gonna come out today. I'm feeling like I can do this. You want to come out guys? Whoa! Don't go near her babies! Uh oh! Okay, I think you gotta protect them, Tiny. I think it's safe to get them out. Tiny's doing a really good job protecting them from anyone. They can fly out if they want, and if, if the dog comes back, I like keeping this closed so they have somewhere to go into and be safe. <sighs> what do you think? What do you think about all this, Wilhelmina? Well, I mean, what do you think? Is she a girl? I think you're a girl, well, I mean. Are you girls still asleep? Oh my goodness, you're so lazy. You know the hour changed? Come on, Pep, I'm coming for you soon. And Maggie? Go, go, girls, go, go, go. Go, Maggie, go. Let's go and see the, those little umbrella mushrooms on the way. So the, yesterday they were closed. Oh, they're opening. Oh my goodness, they really grow fast. Four days ago I saw them come up, they were so tiny. They're beautiful. Let me get away from them because I don't want the pigs to come. No! Come Maggie, 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 this way! I think Maggie and Peppa will destroy them in a second. Come Maggie, come down this way. Maggie, come, don't go near those mushrooms. Maggie, did you hear it? <laughs> come. They're like, we love that sound. Ooh, look at the pond, how it's filling up. It must be running. Wow. The water is running, the pond is filling, which is awesome. But I'm also hearing a funny sound over here. It's water, but it's like it's boiling, boiling water. I'll show you. The pond is getting full. I don't think I can dance in it though. Daisy pie, my little daisy pie, my daisy. She's going to eat mushrooms again. Okay, so it's mushroom season. Let me show you. We have loads of mushrooms around, and Daisy seems to be eating a lot of them. Daisy, you like those mushrooms? Every time she sees a mushroom, she eats it, and she's fine.
mami. Come. Come, mommy. My little Timmy. Come say hi. Mm. Timmy came running because he wanted to remind me something. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, hit that thumbs up button, guys. And sharing our channel with people who you think might like it will really help us get out there. So thank you so much if you choose to do so. beautiful blue sky I look around and I see a storm coming our way and it's coming fast Maggie did you get scared did you get scared it's okay you're back with us now okay thunder scares them <laughs> Guys, you're scared of thunder. Papa, stay close if you're scared. We're going to go in now. Papa, Maggie, come on. Come on, guys. They're scared of thunder. Look at them. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm coming. Oh my goodness, guys, you're so funny. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be crazy. Come on, guys. How Susie is it? The storm is coming. Come, let's go. Come on, kill everything. Girls, are you ready for the storm? Are you ready for the storm, Pap? Yes. Okay, let's go then. Well, it's going to start pouring with rain in a minute. Peppers. Maggie. Peppa, you're a good girl. Look at her. My goodness, she's digging like crazy. Molly, yeah. you're going to dig into the grapevine. Oh, yes, yeah, she is, but that's good. Stop, Molly, stop. She's, she's busy. Hey, shh. Oh, come, come on. Before I go in, I think I have time to pick this for dinner. Let's see the present inside. Ooh. Not bad. Nice head of cauliflower. Yum. Since we started planting cauliflower, we've never gotten a good one. And Luke had the tr this trick. If you want to check out the video, I'll put it in the description below. It's definitely the best one we've had so far, so it works. And this is dinner. We made it like just in time. Look at that. Go, 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 go. Let's go see what the teamwork that's going on over here. Every time we let the pigs out to roam around, the chickens, Dora and Sunny especially, run for them and they, they follow them. So Peppa digs, Maggie digs, and the other two just walking behind them, taking the worms and bugs that they don't want. What perfect teamwork. And Molly, what are you doing, Molly? You're eating that? Let's see, you eat it. You want to eat it? <laughs> Come on, 
Let's see the baby's second day out. Wow, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're definitely a man. Come on, guys. They can't tell me this, but it sounds like everyone is having a great time. The baby chicks are all out and they spend the day just exploring the land with their mother and she's being really good. I want to introduce you to two lovely people, Emma and Ellen. They have been following our channel for a long time and I felt like I already knew them when I met them but just because we've been chatting so much through our messages and comments. And they got a bunch of treats with them for me, Luke, Molly, Timmy and the pigs so thank you so much guys and apart from bringing with them their helping hands which is much appreciated and they helped us around the farm they also brought with them sunshine for two whole days we had the sun shining the beautiful clouds in the sky and we got a lot of work done Honey, sit down please you know who's coming today emma and alan and they're coming in the car they're coming to see us they're coming in the car putting in their seat belt it's true they're coming down the hill and they're going to see molly emma and alan I was teaching her Emma and Alan's name before they came, so she knows that two new people are coming, and she got it wrong. She thinks that Emma is Alan and Alan is Emma. That is so cute. Honey, you're so cute. Where's Alan? Go kiss Alan. <laughs> I'm not Alan. Am I? Money, uh, where's Emma? Money, where's Emma? Where's Emma? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, Luke bought a lot of rebar so he can bend it. And by the way, Luke is A-OK -okay now, so thank you guys for all your lovely messages. So with Luke feeling like he can take on the world again, no he can't, take it easy Luke. But, and, but because we also have helping hands, he decided to bend a bunch of rebar. So over to Luke and Alan. Now my mission is working on the outdoor kitchen. So we've been going back and forth with Dirk over the plans and he's taught me so much I can't thank him enough and yesterday I took my what was it quantity takeoff QTO he calls it for all the supplies I need and today I went and bought most of the steel I do have to go back because they didn't have uh, any six mil I cut them at the place where I bought them from in town and I did that so I don't lose a lot with the off cuts you know if I cut them as for them to fit in the car then I'll lose quite a bit and it's not cheap. I spent 270 today and I'm gonna to have to spend another 50 something when I go collect the six mil one. Today, <laughs> I love this, our plans for our outdoor kitchen. I feel like a right pro. Thank you, Dirk. So today I am bending rebar, so I need a bunch of squares 19 by 19 six millimeter rebar and according to the plans these are cut at 96 so it's 19 each side and then 10 left over so you can tie them together easily okay so i had done this with dirk who's the person if you don't know who's been doing all this work for us which is absolutely amazing so he had shown me how to do this now we had done it with a pine trunk before and after one or two they started bending the nails so you basically nail nails into it and bend it around it you'll see soon um, but I do have this one which is eucalyptus it's been sitting out in a field for ages so I just cut the top off to try and get some more solid wood because this was a bit soft I think eucalyptus is stronger than pine so we'll see how we go now last time I pre-drilled holes and then I hammered in big nails for me to bend the rebar on. And I thought this time, I got these screws. These are pretty cool. Use them for a lot of things, bolty screws. That's the technical term, guys. And I thought I'd just, no pre-drilling, just drill straight in since I'm going in from here. So I don't think it should crack, but we'll see, I might be wrong.
you have a lot of steel work, I would really recommend getting these twisty spring loaded thingies and these pieces of wire. I got them from Amazon. These are about 15 for a thousand and they're six inches long. And these are about 15 euros as well, 15, 16. And you've got one which I'm using, we're using now, which is a hook. And this one is more straight. It's probably to twist around boxes and wait, you need to slip it in really tight. Awesome. Time savers. Yeah. Check out the link in the description below, guys. This is for anyone who might have missed it, but that rebar that Luke bought was my anniversary present for 24 years being with him. How romantic, right? If anyone else's partner does something amazing for them like Luke did for me, leave it in the comments below. So while Luke and Alan were bending steel, <laughs> me and Emma got busy in the garden. First, we had to clear the beds from the pumpkin, and I learned that once you cut them, Number one, you have to cut them with secateurs, try and cut them straight so you don't ruin the stem. And then you don't pick it up from the stem, you pick it up from the pumpkin so you don't ruin the pumpkin. And then you put it somewhere sunny so it has 10 days to mature. Before planting the peas and the beans, I soaked them for two hours. You can soak them for more, but they were looking like they were already ready. And some people soak them, some people don't, but I heard it speeds up the process, so I did it. And the peas and beans are really good nitrogen fixers for the soil, so it's really good to plant them before you're going to plant another crop. Emma, what are we doing? We're digging for sweet potatoes, sweet right? Sweet potatoes. And you found a, a tiny tuber. I found some little ones. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking. Okay. Because you just never know. Ooh, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's definitely bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my nice. size, it's is okay. it? Yeah. That's really good, Ooh. somehow. What? That's a nice colour, eh? Yeah, there's a couple here. Nice. Nice. That's a proper That's one. That's a good one. I think we have enough sweet potato for a soup. It's not much, but it's better than nothing.
lot today, and I think I have the perfect umbrella. <laughs> Parasol mushroom. Oh, yeah. Mesmerizing. <laughs> you want to tap it, maybe some spores fall, just so. Should you do that? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's tap it. But it's not a bad idea, I think, because it drops tiny spores, no? So. Maybe we'll look it up. Let's What's it called, that thing of the bottom? This one? Yeah. I don't know, but if it moves, apparently it's not poisonous. And it's a good parcel of mushroom. Yum. Yum, and it's the right colour at the bottom. Otherwise it would be green, you said? It would be greeny, but dark. Okay. Okay. And the nipple and in the middle. The nipple in the middle. And... And not yeah. as... Not a, I can't, the texture's, the, the texture's different. It will peel off more, the other one. Okay. New. And That's the a video I just watched, by the way. A lot of people will tell you don't take advice from just YouTube. from online, yeah. But don't take advice from our channel, that's for sure. But if, <laughs> if someone's an expert... No, I know they are parasols. <laughs> We've done quite a bit of research yeah. about them, so... And I also found out that the others, the sisters that are a bit more... Po uh, a bit, well, the sisters that are poisonous will not kill you. So that's a good thing. They just make you sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'll go and pick some more. Good luck. I saw two more on the land, so I'm going to go and get them today. But we can have them in, on our pizza. Hey. Um, but we're going to share the pizza with someone. If we're going to kill anyone, let's kill ourselves, not other people. There, it's not going to be poisonous. Joking, it's going to be I'm delicious. Joking, Look. <laughs> we don't really get to forage much from our land, so it's always a pretty exciting when we do. And one thing I forage a lot of is sorrel. And for those of you who don't know what it tastes like, I think it tastes like capers. And if you love capers, I think you're going to like sorrel. The first time I tasted it, I thought, oh, it's a tiny bit bitter, but then once you finish that leaf, you want another one. It's really moorish. Oh, and once when I was clearing down by the secret garden, I found some wild asparagus. And it was good. But the only problem was that I was done with the goats. And the second I found it, they found it. Molly, did you enjoy hunting for mushrooms? <laughs> Those mushrooms were seriously delicious. It's the first time we tasted them. A couple of years ago we went mushroom hunting, but we got a lot and then we weren't sure which ones are poisonous and which ones weren't. We had a mix of both in the back of the car, so we didn't want to risk it. But this time we were sure and we had one delicious mushroom that we had on pizza and we shared it with Alan and Emma. And the other three, we had them ourselves in butter and garlic and they were delicious. We did have two awesome days without rain so we got a lot done but it is raining again. It's been raining all day and I was hoping to go to Sabrina because I have a package from Linda to give her. So thank you Linda, I'm going to give it to her very soon. Hopefully tomorrow if it stops raining and the river isn't full and I can cross. 
And Sabrina also wants to show you how far she got in her garden because until now it's been a real struggle, but with the blue etty and then the pump from Steve. Anyway, this is all happening for her. It's making her life so much easier being held by all you wonderful people. So thank you so much. And thank you so much, Chris and Saskia and Hans for joining our Patreon family. Thank you so very much. And with that, I'm going to end this video, but don't go away. I have this one for you to watch next. Oh, the hell? <laughs> let them, let us smell you, Timmy. Let us smell you. Wow. Ah.